Intergrowth 21st is a global, multidisciplinary network of more than 300 researchers and clinicians from 27 institutions in 18 countries worldwide, coordinated by the University of Oxford. Since 2014, the Intergrowth 21st project has released international standards for fetal growth, newborn size and preterm postnatal growth, thereby extending the WHO child growth standards into the fetal and neonatal periods and providing tools for continuity of care from conception to five years of age. Anthropometry involves a systematic measurement of the physical properties, size and shape of the human body. In this short film, you will be shown how to measure the head circumference, length and weight of newborns and how to interpret those measurements using the Intergrowth 21st Newborn Size Application Tool. The same methodology presented here can be applied to older children up to two years of age. You will need two people to take these measurements, one to take the measurements and one who can be the caregiver to act as an assistant. The baby should be held in a sitting position on the caregiver or helper's lap similar to a position for winding a baby, with gentle but firm support at the back of the neck and under the chin to stop the baby's head from rolling. The measurer uses a tape measure with the measurement unit in centimetres and millimetres. Before putting the tape measure around the baby's head, the measurer should loop the tape. The end with the zero should be placed under the other end to create a continuous line across the tape and ensure precision of measurement. You may need to adjust this technique if the tape endings are different from the tape we're using here. The loop should be a little bigger than the size you expect the baby's head to be. Crouching at eye level with the baby, position the tape around the baby's head with it lying just above the baby's brow line and on the fullest part of the skull at the back of the head. The zero should be somewhere by the side of the head. The assistant holding the baby needs to ensure that the tape is lying flat, not lying over the ear on their side, is level and not slanted. To ensure the tape is stable, the measurer can anchor it at the front and back of the head using the middle finger of each hand. Once the tape is in the correct position, the measurer gently tightens the tape to compress any hair and fat. In newborns, a great deal of care should be taken not to tighten the tape too much. The measurer records the measurement to the last completed millimetre. For example, this baby's head shows a measurement slightly in excess of 33.3 centimetres, so the measurement will be 33.3 centimetres. Once completed, the measurer carefully removes the tape off the baby's head. Any residual pressure marks should disappear within seconds. Here we're using a Harpenden infotometer, which consists of a flat, horizontal board, a fixed headboard and a sliding board with a counter that indicates a measurement with a 1mm precision. The measurer needs to ensure that the infantometer is placed on a flat, level and stable surface at a convenient height. A blanket or soft paper towel should be placed on the infantometer, but the measurer needs to make sure that it will not interfere with the sliding board. Any clothing, including nappies, should be removed from the lower half of the infant and for older children, this will include hair clips or any other hair ornaments. As with the head circumference measurement, two people, a caregiver or helper, and a measurer are required to take the length measurement. The helper should position themselves at the head of the infantometer, and the measurer should place the baby on its back, on the board, 
with its head towards the helper. Both the measurer and helper need to ensure that the baby's body is in the correct position, using the following points as a guide. The body should be centred on the horizontal board, using the black line on the headboard as a guide. Its shoulders and hips should be parallel with each other and perpendicular, or upright in relation, to the baseboard so that the body is not skewed. The imaginary line, called the vertical Frankfurt plane, that runs up from the ear canal to the corner of the eye should be perpendicular to the board. The back is not arched. The measurer should stand at the counter side of the infantometer and gently hold the baby's feet with their right hand and the knees together with their left hand, making sure that their index finger is between the knees. If at this point you give the baby's feet a gentle squeeze, you may find that they naturally straighten their legs. If they don't, then the measurer needs to apply minimal pressure, gently but firmly, to the knees to straighten the legs. The baby's toes should point upwards. If the baby's feet are extended and resist flexion, you can gently run your finger along the soles of their feet, which may encourage them to flex their feet. Read and record the measurement on the counter to the last completed millimetre. For example, here the counter shows a measurement of 49.1. So the measurement to be recorded is 49.1. Be as fast as you can when taking the length measurements so as not to cause distress. Please note that a great deal of care should be taken not to hurt the newborns when taking this measurement as their hip and knee joints do not extend as far as older children's or adults do. We strongly recommend that length measurements should be taken extending both legs together as shown here. However, under certain circumstances, for example if the baby has any medical equipment attached to them such as a cannula, measurements obtained extending only one leg are acceptable as long as the measurers make sure that the baby's body position on the infantometer is correct. This should remain an exception. The scale needs to be on a flat level surface with nothing close by that might interfere with its function, and it needs to be at a comfortable height for the user. The scale we are using here has a built-in spirit level to ensure that it is level. Turn the scale on. The baby needs to be weighed, ideally naked, but if this is culturally unacceptable, all coverings will need to be accounted for, and we will show you how to do that. The electronic scale that we are using has a precision of 5 grams and has a hold and tear function. The hold function allows the user to freeze the weight on the scale's display so that the baby can be removed quickly without losing the displayed weight. The tear function allows the measurer to account for extra weight other than the baby's weight. For example, using a blanket on the scale in cold climates or if the baby is wrapped in a blanket, the tear enables the measurer to account for that extra weight. If the tear function is going to be used, the scale will need to be teared with these items prior to weighing the baby. These functions can be used separately or together, but don't worry if your scale has neither a hold nor a tear function. It is more precise to use a baby scale, but if you don't have one, the baby or older child can be weighed with its parent using an adult scale with a tear function. First, ask the adult to stand on the scale to tear it. The baby should then be handed to the parent. The scale should show just the weight of the baby. Read and record the weight.
Once you have the measurements, open the Intergrowth 21st Newborn Size Application Tool, which is free to download. Alternatively, you can use the browser version. First, enter the sex, then the gestational age in weeks and days, to the best of your knowledge from the information available. Next, enter some or all of the required measurements. The length measurement we took earlier was 49.1, so enter 49.1, or 49,1 depending on which country you are in. The weight was 2.395, so enter 2.395 or 2,395. And the head circumference measurement was 33.3, so enter 33.3 or 33,3, again depending on which country you are in. Then click Compare to Standards. The app calculates the z-scores and centiles and provides a graphical display of the results. Select the measurements of interest and see the position on the charts.